Saying goodbye to a legend and civil rights icon, Frankie Muse Freeman died last week at the age of 101. Freeman's impact was clear today when about a thousand people showed up for her funeral. Five on your side's Ray Strickland tells us the story of Freeman and how her legacy will live on. I definitely wouldn't be the person that I am without her. Jasmine Ferguson is a member of Delta Sigma Theta. Frankie Muse Freeman was once its president. Ferguson was inspired by Freeman to take the same career path. And recently, I've thought about going to law school after graduation. It's a career goal she never thought would be possible if it wasn't for Freeman's courage and determination. It is because of her that I can see myself having a bigger purpose in life. Ferguson is one of hundreds of people Freeman influences in some way. And on Saturday at her funeral, those people did not mourn her, but instead celebrated her accomplishments. Up until the end, loved ones say Freeman was upbeat with the same fire and energy she had more than 50 years ago. Just hear this story from her daughter Shelby about one of the last times they danced together. I got tired and wanted to stop, but this 100-year-old lady was still going. Kept going because Freeman never stopped. She was one of the people at the table always caring about equality. It was her will to fight for the common good that people will always remember. Frankie Muse Freeman's soul is in heaven with Christ. Her body will go into the ground today, but she lives in me and in you. A final farewell to a legend whose spirit will never die. I'm Ray Strickland, Five on Your Side. As an attorney, Freeman won the fight to desegregate public housing here in St. Louis. Nationally, she served under four U.S. presidents on the Commission on Civil Rights. Frankie Muse Freeman. She changed a lot of lives, touched a lot of people.